Oh my god guys, it is my last week of school ever and it's Wednesday right now so like I've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and next Monday and then I'm done. This bitch is out of this bitch and I'm done, I'm graduated, I'm I've completed the year. I'm so ready for this. Like it's even got to the point where I'm wearing leggings to school. Like I have never ever worn leggings to school because I, you know, I am a leggings hater. I'm sorry, I am. You know what? My mum gave me these like BBL Gymshark ones. She was gonna throw them out. I was like, excuse me, I'll have them. Oh God, ignore that. That is such a BBL slay. I do have an English exam in an hour, but like swag comes first. Anyways, I also fake tanned. I'm doing a glow up video for prom, so you will see my fake tan experience in that. But like, look how glowy I look. Also, my belly piercing has healed. I don't know how good it looks on camera, but it's been a gooey, pussy, pussy infected mess, open wound, sore for the past three weeks. But it's finally healed. Yeah, I have my um, novels exam in an hour or however long. Yeah, probably an hour. Obviously, I do not want to do it, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Um, and then I've got psychology tomorrow, which I'm fucked for, let me just say, like, fucked. But anyways, yeah, I thought I'd just vlog my last few days at school, because, like, why not? Like, yellow swag. So, um, yeah, I need to get ready. So I'm going to finish getting ready, and then I'll get back to you. Eh. I'm feeling okay with this exam, to be fair. Like, I can wing it. Like, I've been winging most of my exams, but, like, I can actually wing this one, do you know what I mean? Unless it's a shit question, then I will cry. But apart from that, I can wing it. So I'm all ready for school. I'm wearing an atrocious outfit. I don't really even care. My hair is, like, on day five. Um, but do I care? No, because I've got a fucking exam, and then I'm back home. Because fuck school. I hate school. Ugh. I also should have some food. Like, I haven't had any food. And, like, you know what they say like food is fuel like yeah and to be fair i actually have been having breakfast so i might have a quick wheat i also i'm gonna drive to school yes i know that is the pinnacle of lazy but like you do it too also basically i used to have to park my car at the very top of this massive hill because like basically at the top of the hill is where anyone can park and i didn't have a permit because you only get two for the house and like my mum and my sister were using them so like i drew the straw straw and i had to park like fucking five minutes up the hill but now my sister's giving me the permit because she's like permanently in liverpool so i now don't have to walk five minutes to my car so now i'm driving to school because you know what i deserve it you know for my last week of school like i should be allowed to take the luxury of driving we just got some weetabix by the way yes it's lazy but like i'm sick and tired of going to school and being sweaty when I get there. Like, no one wants to be sweaty when they get to school, do you know what I mean? Who could that be? Sorry about that, that was the DHL man. Um, what was I even saying? Can't even remember. I feel like I haven't really spoke about my A-levels much because I haven't been vlogging because like, honestly, the past two weeks I've just been like, taken out. Like, I've been so tired every day. Like, I've literally been getting home from school and napping all night. I've kind of got out of that now. Like, I don't know what I've done differently, but like, I'm feeling better this week. I think it's the whole thing of going to school. Like, this week and a bit of last week, I stopped like, actually going to school because like, I can't be out. And it's given me a much better mindset. So like, I'm just going to stop going to school because I didn't care. Like, I don't like the atmosphere. Like, I hate everything about it. So, yeah, I think that's what's improved, like, my mental health. Because, like, I've had, like, a cold for, like, the last, like, month as well. And I think that's down to, like, stress and, like, lack of sleep. And, like, I don't even know. But my mental health's been a lot better this week. So, I'm glad about that. But, um, this jump is dirty. But I don't even care. So, yeah, I'll give you a bit more of an update on, like, my whole A-level experience um, when I get home. But, for now, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave my camera here because I don't want to risk taking it to school. Yeah, so I'm going to go for my um, English exam now. And I'll pick you up later. TTYL. So, guys, I'm back for my exam. Thoughts? By the way, I was doing Ed Excel English Lit. And I do Wuthering Heights and the Thousand Spender Sons, if that means anything to you. You know what? It was okay. Like, the theme was good. I chose death. But, like, I don't know what happens to me in exams. But, like, I just lose all my knowledge about everything. Like I just start chatting shit like shit so I did chat a lot of shit and like I feel like it wasn't as like precise as it could be but like honestly English is the one that I don't care about like I've always said it from the start like if I get a C I get a C like I don't care like I should get a C like at least like I mean like I've been on like an A and a B for the past few like 
months but i think like my essays so far have been worse than like they have been in class so then i'm a bit like oh like maybe i'm gonna get a c so yeah i think i'm gonna be okay but that would be the best i think psychology has gone the best so far i mean i mm, i won't speak too soon because i do have psychology tomorrow and i'm booked for it because i haven't done anything but like i'm gonna try bang out some revision today i mean will i i don't know but um yeah that's that's the update i'm still outside because it's a beautiful day I've asked my friend if she wants to go for lunch, but I should probably be revising, but YOLO. I just like, I'm so over it. Like, I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but I'm just like, I don't even care anymore, which is probably bad because I do need to get into uni. But like, at the end of the day, if I don't get in, I can just do a foundation year. Like, it's not that deep, do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's the update. As I said, like, my other psychologies have gone well. My first English didn't go too well, I don't think. But, I mean, you can never tell with English. And media went okay as well. Nothing's gone like, oh great. To be fair, psychology has gone quite well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to speak too soon. Like, we'll see on results day how it actually has gone. But I'm not going to dwell on it because what's the point? Hey girl. Hey girl. You okay? I'm going to eat some strawberries now because I'm obsessed with strawberries. And I also need to watch Love Island. So I'm going to do that. Also, I've been obsessed with custard creams recently. They are so good. What's everyone's thoughts on Love Island so far? I'm now two episodes behind. So I'm going to watch one. And me and my mum my are going to watch the others later. But I'm currently two episodes behind because I had work and then i was out last night so like i've missed two but um i'm gonna watch one of them now my favorite girls i don't even really know like there's none of them i'm like oh i really really like you luca oh he's just uh davide i don't really see the hype like yeah he's a greek god but like he's a bit weird Gemma, like oh, Gemma's like really stunning obviously but like i think she's really boring not gonna lie yeah that's my thoughts. So as I said before, I am going um, for lunch with my friends. Update on the fake tan. It's such a nice colour, but I think for prom I would actually want like a bit darker. Like I think I'd do like two or three layers. Like it just gives me a really nice bronze, but I feel like, say if, like I told people I was wearing fake tan, they'd be like, no, you're not. But like, I don't think they understand the extent to how pale I am. Like I'm so pale. Ooh, I need to put deodorant around actually. If you know what I mean, like they probably wouldn't understand how pale I am because it's not natural to be as pale as me. Also, I'm still swearing by the um, roll-on deodorant. Um, but yeah, I'm going for lunch with my friends. Obviously, I do need to do some revision, so I'm just going to go for like an hour or so. I look awful. I might just put on a little bit of makeup just to make myself feel nice. Because if you let you in A-levels, I've just kind of let myself go, which obviously is like normal. Like, obviously, you're not going to look your best during exam season. But like, I just hate like not looking nice. And like, I hate like just putting on like joggers all the time and like being in bed all the time. Like, I'm so excited for summer because I'm going on quite a few holidays so i'm going to try and vlog a few of them for you and then obviously i'm going to uni so like obviously i'm going to be doing the uni content i still don't know what my accommodation is because my uni did it really late for some reason so obviously once i know what my accommodation is like i'll have like a moving date and stuff like that so yeah i'm also putting on sun cream because again i'm really pale and i'll probably burn in the sun i just think summer's going to be a good one do you know what i mean like last summer wasn't that good for me i don't know why i think like sometimes i think i struggle with like finding myself which sounds so cringy but like i think last summer i was just going through something like i bleached my hair and like i was just not i don't know i just i think i was just not right last summer like it just wasn't the best so i'm i have I have good hopes for this summer. I am excited. Obviously, I have a really long summer, so like that's good as well. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stick some makeup on now. I look pale, and I've literally faked hands. Like, what is that about? But I know I don't actually look pale. Hmm, interesting. I will also say to any like year 12s or like anyone doing their GCSEs, invest in a whiteboard. I say invest, I mean it was literally like six pounds but like literally i've used this so much and like you you'd think that like looking at your notes and writing it down and then rubbing it off and writing it down again doesn't do anything but it actually does like it's really helped me like and i haven't done much revision let's be honest and like it's really saved me so i'm gonna do some whiteboarding now <laughs> So I need to go, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. A little bit mismatched, but like I don't really care. This top is from Primark. I got it yesterday. Isn't it so cute? And this is just from Zara. These are my like ride or die cargoes. I got these like over a year ago from Depop. And then superstars. I'm gonna go now and pick my friend up. I'm not gonna take my camera because I don't have anywhere to put it. But I might film something on my phone if I 
can be bothered, but yeah, see you later. So I'm now just walking the dog. I managed to catch up on Love Island. I watched two episodes. So um, yeah, I got no more vision done, which I'm actually quite worried about because I am fucked. So um, I'm gonna do an hour when I get back and just go over the stuff that like I know that I'd like, I'm not very confident on because like, like a few of the topics for like schizophrenia and stuff, like I think I can kind of wing, but like on the forensic psychology stuff, like, I don't fucking know anything, so yeah, just walking the dog. Lovely evening. I'm in a bad mood. I don't know why. Look at that pretty face. Look at that pretty face. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, oh, pretty face. So I think I'm gonna go to bed now. It's like quarter past eleven. I think I taught myself the entirety of Paper Three Psychology in approximately an hour. So I'm so exhausted. I, I don't know how much of that's gone into my brain, but like that was the most I could do. Like I've lost so much interest that I just don't care anymore. I'm gonna brush my teeth, go to bed, and kind of trigger that I don't actually look tanned considering I faked tan last night. But like maybe I didn't put enough on. I don't know. I'm gonna brush my teeth, and uh, I'll see you in the morning. So I'm back home now. I'm cooking some packet pasta. I don't know about anyone else, but like when I was in like year nine, I used to eat that shit up, like literally, like I'd love it. I'd literally have it every day for tea, but I got myself some today for lunch. I also got a Zara package. I got this new bikini for holiday. Oh my God, it's so nice. It's not actually like neon in person, but it's quite bright to be fair. It's like um, red and orange, and then it's like, yeah, like it's so nice. I'm just trying to build up my bikini collection because I don't actually have that many like actually nice ones. Mm. Also, the packet says it takes five minutes to make. Does it shite? Literally takes the same length of time as normal pasta. It's really hot, I think I just burnt my tongue. So yeah, as I was saying before, psychology was good. Overall, like psychology's actually gone really well. And like, I thought psychology was gonna be like one of the hardest because psychology is like quite hard, like content wise. But honestly, it's been my favorite exams to like sit and do. Like paper one was like probably the best for me. I've really burnt my tongue. Paper two was okay, but like I feel like research methods is quite hard. So I didn't really know how that went. Then paper three, yeah, that was like, like it was so sound. Like I thought it would be so much worse. But I'd say like a big thanks to the AQA advanced information because that was really, really helpful. Ow, I've really burnt my thumb on that. Also, look at that. It's all stuck to the bottom. Ew. Bon ape tits. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit and eat this now. I really do need to tidy my room. <laughs> like it's like a bombshell. I'm so excited to like finish my exams and actually be able to like fully sort out my room because I've been meaning to to do it for ages. Like obviously my room's full of like A level stuff. So once I can get rid of all of that, like it'll be so good. So yeah, I might do a bit of that for a few hours. I wish it was like sunbathing weather because I really want to catch a tan. Not that I tan, I burn. But yeah, I'm probably watch some pretty little liars as usual. And yeah, like. I know my exams aren't over, but like I'm taking this day as a rest day, but like I feel so chill. Like when my exams are finished, that feeling is gonna be so fucking nice. And I'm so ready for it. Oh my God, guys, how nice is this new bikini? Such a hashtag slay. She is slaying. <laughs> Such a slay, like making me feel so body confident. But I'm unsure whether to like take the pattern out of here because I usually do take the pattern out of bikinis because like it kind of sits weird but like i don't know maybe i won't maybe i will i'm just showing you my tits basically yeah look at my room oh yeah that is an issue i might tidy it maybe potentially i don't know so i've just like chucked away a shit ton of like paper from like obviously my a levels and like it feels like such a weird like thing because it's like all this hard work that I put in over two years just means nothing anymore obviously i've still got my poetry exam the fucking burden of an exam so obviously i'm throwing that stuff out but like honestly like it's kind of crazy the violin starts soon so i'm gonna go downstairs and watch the blah 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 i'm gonna go downstairs and watch that also i got some birkenstocks I don't know if i told you but like they are so uncomfortable at the minute like i know birkenstocks are supposed to be comfortable and like you have to wear them in but like they are so not comfy i feel like they're a little bit too big i need to like stab a compass in there and like make a bigger hole or something good morning everyone so i've got some wheat bix it's friday it's friday then it's saturday sunday mm. i'm not going to school today because school's for losers losers joking i just i see me i've only got one more exam so like why would i go to school do you know what i mean i mean i should probably do some poetry revision but like i'm so over it like me and my friends are gonna go to the lake i think if um like the nice weather like it's it looks nice outside it's supposed to be a bit windy though but i've got a paddleboard so i might take that and yeah that's kind of all oh and then we're getting a domino's 
later so but i don't really know what like i'm doing during the day so i also did some coloring last night that sounds so nerdy basically everyone knows Caroline's my favorite book my friend chalan got me a Coraline coloring book um for my birthday and i've never used it so i did i only completed one of them because i get really bored with coloring but i think she looks pretty swag i also started this one of mrs pink and miss forcible but it didn't really take off so yeah that's what i was doing last night as i said i'm gonna go in sort out my room because it's a fucking shit tip so it's now 12 o'clock and me and my friends are going to the lake i think so i'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on i'll show you what i'm wearing like i think i'm gonna take my paddleboard obviously need to put some sun cream on um i don't know if to do that now or like before i go i mean i can always just bring it with me because if you don't know i'm pale as fuck and i burn really easily but i just need to put it on like my chest and my shoulders and my face like it's not that deep like it's not very sunny outside so um yeah i was gonna maybe try out my individual lashes um but obviously that is for my prom glow up video so i'm not gonna include it in this vlog but i'll obviously show you like the before and after i'll show the actual process in my um, glow up for prom vlog i'm gonna do some makeup now and i'll get back to you when i'm done i don't know I, uh, sorry my plan keeps changing but i genuinely don't know what's happening because it's genuinely really cold now like well it's probably not really cold but like there's no sun and um yeah, like, I don't really want to go to the lake in that, but we'll see. Um, I'm definitely, like, getting a Domino's with my friends later, but it's just whether we go to the lake today, I don't know. I'd kind of rather stay in bed, to be honest. <laughs> um, but, yeah, fun fact, the rest of England right now are in 33 degree heat. What am I doing? Fucking freezing my tits off, that's what I'm doing. Fucking shit living up north, honestly, I'm telling you. But I'm going to make some lunch because there's now else to do. And then, I don't even know, I haven't done anything this morning because I've just been trying to put on the lashes. This is what they look like kind of sexy but yeah like it's so dark in here because it's just not sunny so this is lunch apple hula hoops in toast this one's peanut butter on i also might maybe have hot chocolate because it's literally freezing in my house i mean like, i'm in shorts and a vest top maybe it's self-inflicted i don't know getting hot in here so take off all your clothes i am getting so hot i want it to i made a hot chocolate the other day and it's probably the worst hot chocolate i've ever had and I don't know why it was so bad but um, I'm gonna make one now with my hotel chocolate because I'm bougie AF. Getting hot in here. Slay the house down. <laughs> <laughs> 